how am I going to see it? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Corey. Facebook's done it again. They have changed stuff. <laughs> um, now my screen is way bigger that I can see what I'm doing, but I can't see the comments now. Like I have to scroll down. Oh, annoying. Ah, oh, bonjour Anne. How are you? Welcome. That's about my extent of French. Bonjour, comment ça va? <laughs> Bonsoir, I guess. It's evening time. Hi, Carolyn. <sighs> it's been a very busy day, but I'm happy. Hi, Cindy. I'm happy to be here with you guys. I'm glad you're all hopping on and joining me tonight. Um... I have a plan what I want to show you, whether it's going to work out or not. What I want to do is another story, right? <laughs> so we always plan stuff, but then sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go. All right, so I am going to get started. So hopefully you all can see what I'm doing okay. Um, hi, Linda. And if I miss your comments, I apologize because, uh, again, I won't be able to see them if I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. Just crazy. I don't know. What, I'm going to have to, like, figure something out there. Hey, Linda Pilgrim. All right. So tonight what I'm going to show you is um, I've shown these before, but I wanted to show them again because they're pretty cool. Um, this is Tim Holt's uh, Distress and he has different different things. So this one's a collage medium and it's a matte finish. So it's a lot like Mod Podge kind of. So it's um, it's a translucent matte gel medium ideal for gluing, layering and sealing. So it's pretty cool. And like when you put stuff on with this, it sticks. I'm going to show you the texture paste. It's also translucent. Um, and it's, it says it's ideal for creating dimensional effects. This is the te texture paste. Then we have the crackle paint and you can see it's translucent as well. You can see what it looks like. Uh, this is great for you putting on with your paintbrush. Um, I just slapped some on to my, my, um, tag with my, um, with this thing and then this is also um, it's called crackle paste so it's it's more dense and you can use it in um, stencils if you want or pile it up and it gives a more a more um, textured feel I don't think I put enough on my tag but uh, we'll have a we'll have a look at it and it like crackles. So I don't know if, if you've been following me for quite a while. Back when I first started, I did a... Hi, Colleen. Hi, Erin. Hi, Irene. Back a while ago, I did a embossing technique where you emboss a whole bunch of times with clear embossing powder. Then you throw it in the freezer and then you kind of crack it. And it makes that crack a crackle like distress. Well, this stuff does that without even having to do that. Then I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to put some stuff together with my uh, 49 and Market tickets. Um, Diana showed some of them yesterday. Her, I think she had the Plum Grove or something. These are the Mariner ones. I want to say Marina, but it's not. It's Mariner. But you get like a ton, a ton of these tickets. And... Um, so what you could do is like go in with a couple friends and get different colors and then share them. I think Megan and I are going to share ours because that's that's a lot. Uh, I also have the film strips in Mariner so we're going to put some of those on our tags 
and I also have uh, the rub-on transfers. So we will put those in as well. And I noticed this doesn't have a stick in it, so I don't know if I got one without a stick or if they don't come with a stick. That's why they're a more reasonable price. I don't know, but I'll have to figure something out. And then I used these fun Prima tags. So these you get like a dozen in a bag and um, Heather showed us some really neat stuff to, to make with them. And I did show how to make one before a while, like a long time ago. But they do have this paper peeling off and it's sticky. Hi Yvonne. Uh, so it's sticky so you could put paper on but mine wasn't sticky enough so I put I used this collage medium and put that on so that my paper would stick on there. So um, I'll show you that in a little bit. I'll show you how to do one right from beginning to end with the collage medium. So the first thing I did I used was on this tag was the um, hi Barb. Whoops. I just want to make sure I'm on camera. So you guys make sure you tell me if I'm off camera because I don't want to miss any of your beautiful comments. Um, okay, so I used the texture paste and I used a stencil and it's translucent like it says. So um, it has dried clear if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see it. Awesome. Dried clear. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of the uh, Faded Jeans Distress Ink. No, not this one. That's what I want to do on the other one. I want to take some uh, Kitsch Flamingo and some Lumberjack Plaid because the, the stencil I use is Snowflake one. And I'm just going to color over it so you can see uh, the stencil that I used with the texture paste. And another thing I did with, because this um, tag was is sticky, I used the um, powder tool to make it unsticky. So hopefully uh, it will work and take my ink. So I'm just going to use my ink. Uh, I'm going to use a blender brush and put my ink on my Ricky, Ricky mat. And I'm just going to blend it kind of here and there and hopefully it's going to do what I want it to do. <laughs> now I let this this one dry. I did this this morning. So I let it dry um, almost all day. My other crackle ones, um, I did them right onto here first and the crackle peeled off because it wasn't sticking to the sticky. So I was uh, kind of disappointed. I'm just going to wipe that off because I want to see what it does. So you could have it, you could either leave it on there, but I wanted to see some of the. I just took a okay so let's get rid of that I just started and I've already got a mess on my desk how does that even happen okay this is the kitsch flamingo and it, it kind of resists the ink right so that's kind of what I was trying to show you it's is it will resist the ink where you put it hi Carol Now, if I wanted to, I could have I could have left the red ink on there to make it more. Sorry for the if my camera's bumping, but I wanted to show you the resist technique. Oh yeah. Oh, why that's coming off the whole thing? Could be because it's sticky. Hmm. Anyway, that's not too bad. I'm gonna put some more on. 
but you get the idea and you can see you can see the um that didn't turn out the way i wanted it to and i apologize what <laughs> remember i said at the beginning i have a plan but it doesn't always work for some reason it's resisting everywhere i don't know but anyway you kind of get the gist of what this distress paste will do you can just um you don't have to do that you can just leave it on top of whatever like a piece of paper and um it will it will give you some dimension you can also put it on top of your tickets if you wanted to or your film strip or, whoops whatever you like I've just got some these are from Frank Garcia it's my left little leftovers from their Christmas candy cane it's the Christmas candy cane lane I thought I would just put some on here to show you how the collage medium works so I'm just gonna collage medium yes yeah because this is this is how you stick stuff um need a brush just a paintbrush this one's pretty ancient so you're just going to use it just like as if it's glue right now you can put this right on here but because i don't know exactly where it's going i'm going to put it right on my on my paper Uh, I'm going to just put it there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some over top to make sure it's sealed down really good. If that makes sense. I may need to stick some under there. Oh, looks like I'm picking up some of the ink. That's okay. Kind of makes it look cool. Now I should have probably poured some onto my mat, my craft mat, and then used it that way so I don't get it all icky in there. See, I didn't put enough on here. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I won't dip that back in there. Oh, do -do. What else do I have? Oh, I have this little girl. Uh, no. I'm going to put the candy cane on. Oh yeah, I still want to use some of this. Okay. So I'm going to put this just kind of here. So I don't have to worry about getting the paint inside the other. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I'm going to put that on there. So it's just like Mod Podging, right? Like you want it to stick, glue that on there, seals on, and it dries clear. And um, it's really cool. I'm going to put like... Some down here. Whoops. And for those, uh, whoa. <laughs> whoops. That one doesn't want to stick at all. That goes on the blooper reel. <laughs> okay, stay. Oh my gosh. I think it's my brush. It's not very soft. I thought I had another one of those. Yeah, I do. And you just keep layering, keep layering. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. I gotta let it dry. Should be letting it dry. Now you can also. Oh, do I have anything kind of Christmassy? Probably not. Now we all have these kind of little doodads, right? Jar full of doodads. Um Or not a jar, I guess a container. Mine's not as not as big as Heather's yet, but it's getting there. I'm just gonna stick this key on too. Whoops. Um, I think I'll just kind of put it over here. So I'm gonna use my collage medium again. It's gonna stick the key on, and it will stay there. So, hi Tracy. 
then if I wanted to, I could put some puffy stickers on there. I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to leave that like that. So that's how you use the collage medium. It's it's just like a like it's a glue to, for stealing stuff. And I didn't put enough on the back. That's my whole problem. But I think it'll still stay pretty good. And then afterwards, if when it's dry, I can like paint splatter it with some paint and a paintbrush, and it'll look really cool. Add a rip, excuse me, add a ribbon. It'll be awesome. All right, so that is the collage medium. Kind of like a Santa key, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to clean that up. So that's good, I got to show you that. And that the, the collage medium is really great to use on these tags because um, it saves you like using glue or whatever and you can stick whatever and it will stick it will stick on there I could probably put some flowers on there too with that but I'm gonna just you get the idea okay I'll put that up to dry all right so that was a collage medium and the texture paste so the texture paste I used on this with the stencil and the collage medium I used as glue, as glue. So then I want to show you the crackle paint and I wanted to show it done. So I did a tag and what I did was I took a piece of paper from the journaling note cards for the new line that Prima came out with, uh, Aquare Aquarelle Dreams. I just love the colors. So, and I thought these would be good for cards, the, the paper. So I put the crackle paint and this one's a translucent. So this one you had to use a paintbrush with uh, because it's um, really, really, it's like paint, right? So I just want to make sure. So when it dries, can you see that crackle? Yeah, you can. So depending where you, like I put it all over my whole paper. So, and depending how thick you put it will depend um, how much you see, right? Like how much crackle there is. So this one, I wanted to take uh, my, this, is, this one with the faded jeans. And I just want to ink the edges. So we're going to see... I'm going to ink the edges and then I'm going to kind of do a little bit of crackle or a little bit of crackle, a little bit of um, painting over the crackle to see what happens because it should give us a kind of a distressed look. That makes sense. And this, the crackle is really good for like vintagey vintagey looking stuff. I'm just going to put that ink kind of on there. I'm going to take paper towel again and the ink should go in where the crackle is. That. Hopefully that'll work. Oh yeah, actually looks all right. Let's see the blue kind of in the crackles pieces. I didn't put very much because I didn't want to like ruin the whole thing in case it didn't work. Oh yeah, I like that. Can you guys see that? Yeah, the colors are great, aren't they? Oh, I just love these this line and it's got like a bunch of, um, a, a whole little bag of dragonflies clear translucent dragonflies like holy moly I, I didn't like it I don't know if you can you guys can see that so that's cool so I think with this one I'm gonna take some of my film strips because they I know um Diana was using these last night too they're the Mariner ones this one yep and she said to keep these little plastic things which is a great idea 
I think I'm just going to I'm gonna play I don't want to use the big one because like you get so many like look how many you get so many um, whoops and I still have some in the bag here there's uh, big ones so I want to play and see throw some tags on there or some tickets I mean Aren't these fun? Oh my god. They're all different sizes too. Oh my gosh. I, I never really had a good look at them. <laughs> these are neat. Like, look at the little. Oh, it's so cute. So I might, um, this one looks like a bingo card. Whoops, I ripped in the wrong spot. Ah, be careful when you're ripping. Take my scissors here. Oh, it's not a bingo card, but I guess it could be the date of your event. Um, I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. I'm just going to play here. Let's play. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to actually... Where is my, I'm going to use my collage medium and see if it'll stick this stuff down. And where did my brush go? Oh, right there. Duh. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work. Stick it right on top. Whoops. I didn't want to go in the middle ones because I want to stick my tickets in there. And I'm going to kind of go off the page and then I'll cut it off or off the ticket. Or off, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. I should have took a picture because I don't know what it looked like now. All right, so I think I think I had this going like this. Actually, I wouldn't cut that off. I would just leave that on there. I think that'll look good. Just like glue, ladies. Just like, and it doesn't take long to dry. And then my little fun one. Ones. Oh, I thought they were all green. They're not. Which I don't know why there's green in here when it's Mariner, but yeah, whatever. But I see. Oh, I just want a little bit of. I guess I'll wipe. Yep. Like, how cute are these? Oh my god. them up sooner and use them sooner oh well I got them now there we go now if you wanted to seal this definitely could with the same stuff just go over top and then they're sealed in there and they should not come off Coolie, coolio. All right, that's really neat. I really like that. 
they're not washi tape, Carolyn, no. It, they are just um, paper, like cardstock. They don't, they aren't sticky, so you have to stick them down. But um, they're a thinner cardstock, but they're really, they're really neat. And like, like I said, they're great for just when you want to tuck something in somewhere, add a little bit. Um, these ones are bigger, of course, but then. that looks pretty cool I, can, I really like that actually okay I'm just going to grab some of the this is the Mariner um, essential text blends rub-on transfers I just want to put a little something in the top corner so I'm just gonna cut out a piece And I'm just going to stick that. Oh, stuck my finger right in the collage stuff. <laughs> Should clean up my mess, really, before I start something else. But I thought I might. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I need a rub-on stick. Maybe my bone folder will work. This is just to add a little something up here in the blue because it's pretty bare. Oh yeah, that's cool. A little bit came off here, but that's all right. You guys see that? Okay. So just a little bit of up there. And then, uh, where's my ribbon? I'm going to take a piece of ribbon. I'm going to tie a little bow. I should have left my collage stuff here because I want to see if it's going to stick this down. It should. Ribbon scissors. Good old Tim Holtz. These are ancient ones, but now they come in the block with a black handle. Great for cutting ribbon. Love them. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use the collage medium again. Just going to put a little bit there. I'm going to stick my bow on there. Oh, it's a little long here. That's okay. Oh yeah, awesome. <clears throat> I wonder if I have charge keys, charge keys. I'll stick a little butterfly on there. A charm so like if you ever see any of the charms in the store and you're like oh when would I ever use them just grab them and you'll never know when you'll use them see look at that oh I love it boop, boop. what do you guys think you guys see that okay isn't it? Probably because I have all this stuff in here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and then you can see it's still the shiny, it's still with the crackle, right? A little bit of rub-ons. Oops. put more ink around the edges if I wanted to. I could take the distressor, paper distressor, rough up the edges too. I could add more, more stuff if I wanted to. But hi Heather. So that's um, using the crackle 
uh, crackle paint, which looks like that. And the collage medium to stick down my stuff. Some rub-ons and, and the tickets. Oh, I love the tickets. They just are so cool. And the film strip. Love it. Okay. So then with the crackle paste, um, like I said, I don't think I used enough. It's white, but it, it's also translucent, so it dries clear. Um, it does the same kind of thing, but I don't think I used enough of it. It's not really thick, and it's not very crackly, but it's like, let's see if, it's all trial and error, right? Like, you can really see the crackle here, but there's not a lot up here. It's really smooth. I don't know if maybe it's the way I put it on. I don't know, but anyway, um, this you could also use through a stencil and then your image would be all crackled. So that would be cool. So let's, uh, let's do something with this one. Um, now you could put pictures in these too, if you wanted to stuff all over me. And I had mentioned using them as a shaker card, making a shaker out of them. Oh, hey, look. This one. These are solid. Look at that. That's cool. There's two in here that are like solid like this with no holes in it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> I think that they're a little too big for this. I think they'd be great for a layout. Um, but oh my gosh, that is, that is cool. Okay, so I'm going to try. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Do That goes in the middle of there. I wanted to try and make a shaker shaker out of these but I don't know how I'm gonna do that because you're gonna be able to see the foam tape that won't be cool I'm gonna have to think about that oh good I'm glad you saw the crackle in there yeah it's not very much on this one like it's really smooth up here which is must have been how I put it on annoying but this is really crackly I wonder if I should okay let me try and put some paint no paint ink on it and see maybe it'll stand out more oh yeah it does it stands out more with that you can see where the crackle is way more better Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Too bad it's not all over the whole whole page. Ah. Live and learn, right? This is this is what we do. We trial and error. Yeah, I love it. I like that. That looks good. Okay. Um hmm. Hi Diana. Hi Yvonne. Um okay, so I was going to try and do a shaker now. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's, I, I'll, I'll try and do a shaker with these film things uh, off camera. I'm not going to have you guys watch me try and struggle and make, sh make a shaker. Uh, let's get some of the big tickets on this one. I want to see what these tickets look like. Those little ones really impressed me. I wonder what these ones look like. The bigger versions of the little ones. Oh yeah, these are cool. Okay. So easy to tear off. Oh, look at all these little admit ones. Oh, so cute. Okay, so cool. Um <laughs> Look at look at the variety you get too. Like so cool. All right. So Um I'm just going to rip these all off. These are fun. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine a layout? Um, if you go to a special show, can you like, no. Yeah. 
Oh, these are even little tiny, tiny ones. Wow. Okay, that's... I didn't realize these came apart too. Can you guys see that? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Um, can you imagine uh, doing a layout or a journal page of a night that you went to, say, uh, go see like Garth Brooks or the Dixie Chicks or like... Um, who else? Avril Lavigne or like a, a concert of some kind. Look, these all rip apart, you guys. Oh my God, these are awesome. You don't even have to use them as a ticket. Look at like these are arrows. Are you guys seeing what I'm taking apart? Oh my gosh, these are awesome. Like there's arrows, photographs, special delivery, like... Or if you go to the, like, if you went to the circus when you were little, or you took your kids when they were little. This would be good for that movie stub. You go and see, you went to see a good movie, like, I don't know, Maverick or Spider-Man or I don't know what movies are out there. Those are what my husband went to see. <laughs> Not anything I went to see. Oh, these are so cool. Okay. Everyone having a drinking game? How many times I say so cool? Yeah, be awesome. You'd be drunk. <laughs> Drink that eggnog. Like, look how many different varieties there are. This is just crazy. I never even noticed. I'm not going to, like, put them all on my tag like this, but you get the idea. Holy moly. Isn't that crazy? Right? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, Diana, it's crazy. Okay, let me, I missed a comment here. Someone made some good comments. Um, done their kitchen in retro. Oh, that would be a great idea, Barb. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right? I know they're awesome. Like they're so cool. And like you can use the the middle, the middle piece for sure, uh, for something. Like Diana said yesterday. And then where's my solid piece? These two solid pieces. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a layout, I think, um, and show you guys a layout. I, I should have looked at all this really in detail. Anyway, look at all the tickets. Like that's from one little piece. One little piece. I don't know if I got them all even. I think I did. From here to here. And you get like a ton. Tons. Crazy. All right. Okay. Focus, Sandra. Focus. Okay. Um, I'm going to just... Should I use the film strip again? Or Yeah, let's do that again. I don't want it to go off. You know what? I want to ink my edges. I'm going to ink my edges. And I'm using the Faded Jeans by Tim Holtz here. Yeah, those solid pieces are neat. I didn't even know they were in there. So I was looking at, at all of my film strips today, but I didn't take them all out. And I'm like... Until now. Oh, so awesome. All right. And like you can put little pictures in here if you want. Um, of let's say you and your friends or you and your sisters or you and your kids. Whatever you like. At the movies let's say. Um, it's just this is just going to basically look the same as the other one. I don't want that. Um, ooh, special delivery. That would be good to put pictures of a new baby in there. That would be cool. And you could put that on there. Um, let's see. Where's this one? I'm going to throw some color in there. Some other than blue. Yeah. 
uh, I don't know. But you guys get the idea, right? Like you can just do so much different things here. All these little tickets. I think, no, you know what? I'm going to put some more rub-ons on. I'm going to put some rub-ons up here. And I think I'll use the butterflies. I have some butterflies in here too. I am going to cut this one out and use that one. Fuzzy all over my scissors. Ack. I'm going to use the dark one so that you can see it. Put her up here. My phone folder. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I get ex a little overexcited. But things like things like this are like, oh my gosh. It's like candy, right? So fun. And when you figure out new ways to use your fun things, it's very exciting. So just a reminder that um, there is a spot on the web, on our Facebook page, not Facebook page, oh, on our um, web page in the store that says items used during classes or something like that um, you just scroll down if you I think it's right after the new items uh, and it will have a link if this if the items are available it'll have a link to the items that we've used in our classes or in our online videos so that if something interests you all you need to do is go there and click you don't even have to go searching for it I like that I need some words like, um, hmm, I don't want special delivery. No, no, no. Or graph. All right, let's just do it. Ooh, ooh, how about this? Hmm, where's my single guy? That kind of looks neat. Kind of like he's inside. Inside. I like what Diana did yesterday with just putting these over top. But I think I want to use this film strip. And then. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to use my collage medium. My brush is clean, so I'm just going to dip it in there. I'm going to put some on my film strip. I'm not going to put any on the bottom yet, just in case I want to stick something in there, under there. You don't even need glue, people. Use that collage medium and it'll stick there and it'll be awesome. Um, okay, so let's see. Do the rub ons work over the crackle? You know what? Let's try. I'll put some here. Um, it Did I put some on that other one? No, I did on that one, but I don't remember if it worked. Let's try some there. <laughs> Um, let's see. There's so much to choose from on here. Awesome. And like this Mariner color goes so well with this uh, aqua aquarelle. That's hard to pronounce. Okay, so this this piece has a crackle. So let's let's see what happens. What would be cool too is to put these on and then put the crackle over top. 
that would look cool as well because then your rub on would look like it's crackled right because this might just cover the crackle it, you might not be able to see it very well or see the crackle very well over top yeah so you can put it on over the crackle but what would be better is if i had put this on first and put the crackle over top of it and then it would be crackled underneath it does that make sense yeah yeah that would be a great idea i might add some on so you guys can see how to add it on um my little tickets And you can use it on this too, on this the tickets too. Oh, da, 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 da. What do I want to do? I'll stick. Okay, I'm going to put a couple right here. You don't even need to use these for if you're going on, like if you went and saw a movie or anything. You can just use them like I'm using them and just have them for a little extra decoration, right? Okay, so of course, um, I'm a Prima Flower Junkie. I'm just going to tell you, Prima Flower Junkie. Um, yeah, so I have a few. So let's find one that might coordinate. And I'm just like, no, nope. I wish we had purple flowers. Heather, I don't think you guys brought in the flowers that coordinate with this paper. Did you buy any chance? <laughs> uh, oh, here's a nice pink. I will usually I'll pick up a, a pack of flowers whenever I'm in the store. Um, not every Monday when I was there every Monday, but maybe every other Monday. But um, now that I'm not there, well, that'll look pretty all the time. My stash is running low. <laughs> I like the pink. Uh, it might be too much though. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Pink or cream? Hmm. I would really like one of those blue flowers. That would look really awesome. market ones too. Okay. This is just going to be a simple one. And I'm going to attach it with the collage medium, but I'm not going to put any over top of the flower. I'm just going to attach it. Midnight blue, yeah, that would look good, right? I don't have any of that color. I know there's colors that, um, I know there's flowers that match this paper, but I don't know. I don't think we brought any in. Here's one of these ones I'm going to stick under here. Just like, whoops, it's got to dry. Takes a little longer to dry than the glue, but you get the idea. Uh, 
I should have roughed up the pages because I, I or the edges with my paper rubber thingy thingy. Put that down. That just adds a little look like it's it's just a little it's subtle, right? Just a little subtle in there. Okay. And do I need a bow or should I just do a single thing? <laughs> Feels naked down here, but it's not really. No. Alrighty. <clears throat> We're almost done here, ladies. I just gotta fold this bow. When I used to teach classes, um, card classes in my home, and if there was a bow, I used to be really nice and fold the bow for everybody because <laughs> it would be such, it would take the longest, right? Because it's, it's hard to fold these bows, but after you've done them for like as long as I've done them, not doesn't take that long anymore. I miss folding bows for everybody. And what I could do, I should have brought it all kind of down. Burp. Didn't Heather say that? Have it like go from corner to corner. No, that flower won't work. It's too puffy. Kind of down to my... Oh my god, it's so white. Oh, I do have some white. Now I might be just getting silly here. 49 market flowers. Kind of trying to make it kind of go in a, I don't know if it's going to even go the way I want it to go. Nah, it's going to look crazy. So maybe not that ticket. <laughs> it's okay, Lori. <laughs> um... I'm just trying to decide what to do here to kind of get this to go to the, maybe I don't need to do anything. Maybe I'm overthinking it, right ladies? Maybe I'm just overthinking my project. Nope, nope, I'm gonna leave it. A quote, yeah, I think, I think so. Um, I do have these that go with that paper line. So let's, let's see. I, I like, really like these. Um, should be something with the flying because there's a Butterfly. Okay, how about this one? Like Brave Wing. These are um, chipboard stickers in that aquail. Like that? That actually looks kind of good, right? Yeah, I think I like that. So it does, it is sticky on the back, but I want it to stick stick. So I'm going to put some more of this collage medium on. Stick that on there. I've got collage medium all over my fingers. 
Yeah, I think actually that's good. Okay. Where's my lid? Okay. Now I've really got a mess here, ladies. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, I think that one looks pretty good. And barely anything on there and that's sticking it all on with the collage medium. Um, and you just got to let it dry so and it will stick. And it's with the crackle um, paste. This one's with the crackle paste. Where is it? That's the paint collage medium. Here it is. Crackle paste. Um, yeah, so that's actually pretty cute. All right, I think that is all I have to show you tonight. So, and like, I barely put a dent in these tickets. So I'm, I'm going to try and do a layout and show you, I'll post a picture of it because I've got a couple weeks off coming up with the holidays. So I'll get some more stuff made with these fun tickets and well, these are darker tickets. Oh, I should have threw one of those on there. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry, Lori, look at, I'm squirreling here on the video. Never mind you squirreling off the video. <laughs> Anyhow, I have, uh, I think that's good. I will do some, a layout or something with the tickets and the, the film strips to show you guys, uh, what you can do with, with them. And I will post pictures. And so you are all very welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight, uh, during this very busy season. Uh, I hope you got some good ideas and uh, venture into I know it's kind of mixed media stuff but that's okay like you can put this kind of stuff on cards or on layouts or in your journals um, no, ma no matter what you kind of medium you use or what you do you can definitely use these ideas in anything so I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a safe and happy holiday season and I will see you again the first Wednesday in January. Uh, that I am going to be doing. Um, I will be showing you how to create this beautiful folio um, using the Graphic 45 Trifold Water Folio album. If you want to create along with me or create it as well, there's kits in the store you can buy. Um, there's only, I think, four left. So make sure you grab yours right away. Great for if you went go to the zoo or on a lion safari or something. Uh, it's an awesome little book. All right. So again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will see you in 2023. Until next time, happy crafting. <laughs>